Adapting to human unpredictability is one of my features. It just winks! <laughs> Hi guys, it's Memberly. Welcome back to another video. Today we're playing episode 4 of Detroit Become Human. I've been really eager to play the, play the game more again uh, since last episode because last episode gave me a bloody heart attack. I think I worked out what was going on with the frame issue, so I think because I was rendering a video in the background at the time, I'd completely forgotten I was rendering it. I think that kind of messed up with my computer performance. Um, but just to be on the safe side, I've turned down the settings. By the way, I'm an ST200 model. I mean, I thought you might be interested to know that. Well, I'm sure there's someone in the audience is going to appreciate it. But basically, what I've done, just to be kind of safe, I've turned down the quality settings from ultra to high. So hopefully it doesn't impact the performance too much. Um, but I didn't want it to keep jumping frames because it did seem to jump frames at a lot of the good parts last episode. So we're going to continue right where we left off after Kara and Alice decided to give me a heart attack and I had to refrain Connor from going for his mission because we want to be friends with Hank. And I know, oh, uh, what's her name? Rebecca? Oh no, Amanda. Amanda. She looks like a Rebecca for some strange reason. Uh, I know she's not going to be happy with it, but... We'll have a way to redeem ourselves in the future. Nah, the game's still pretty. Oh, hey, hey. <sighs> Hank nearly getting himself killed. Reconcile with Lieutenant Anderson. Okie day. Right. Five and the third. Lickety split. That Billy's one hell of a chaser. You want to flood him? Last shit hot tip he gave me sent me back a week's wages, baby. Come on. This is different. It's a hundred percent guaranteed. You can't go wrong. We're scanning this guy. Okay, Pedro, he's unemployed, illegal gambling, and fraud. I don't trust it. And who are you? Uh, Gary Kane, business owner. He's a criminal criminal record of resisting arrest, breach of hygiene regulations. Oh, God. And he's running a sandwich bar. That's reassuring. And then, obviously, we've got our boy. <laughs> All right, I'm in. Damn straight. Hey, you won't regret this. He's going to regret it. He's such a pretty boy, is our Connor. Brian Deckard, the person who plays problem? him. Amazing job. Don't you ever do as you're told? No. Look, you don't have to follow me around like a poodle. Mate, I'm a cute poodle. I can't poodle. Apologize for behavior. I'm sorry for my behavior back at the police station. I didn't mean to be unpleasant. You've even got a brown nose and apology program. There's a cyber life thought everything, huh? No, I'm just being a, a human and apologizing. Here you go. Ah. Hamburger. One uh, one thousand six hundred and eighty calorie. Jesus Christ, that. That is like all my calories gone in a day. What do you mean? Why? Thanks, Gary. I'm starving. Don't leave that thing here. Huh, not a chance. Follows me everywhere. Because you're so pretty, Hank. See? Oh. Gambling cholesterol company. Uh, gambler. This Pedro. He was proposing illegal gambling. Am I right? Yeah. And you made a bet. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Uh, cholesterol. Your meal contains 1.4 times the recommended daily intake of calories, and twice the cholesterol level. You shouldn't eat that. But he's got to die of something. Hey, come on, we're a friend to him now. Come on, highway. This morning, when we were chasing those deviants, why didn't you want me to cross the highway? Because you could have been killed. I, 
And I don't like filling out paperwork for damaged equipment. <laughs> Mood! About Connor, Hank and Androids, and Deviants. They're Hank and Androids. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Why do you hate Androids so much? He's got to have a reason. I have my reasons. Okay. Doesn't want to talk, Curtis. Is there anything you'd like to know about me? Hell no. Well, yeah. Um, why do they make you look so goofy and give you that weird voice? <laughs> Cyberlife androids are designed to work harmoniously with humans. Just found and voice were specifically Silence. designed to facilitate my integration. Well, they fucked up. <laughs> I love Hank. Maybe I should tell you what we know about deviants. You read my mind. Proceed. We believe that a mutation occurs in the software of some androids, which can lead to them emulating a human emotion. In English, please. They don't really feel emotions. They just get overwhelmed by irrational instructions, which can lead to unpredictable behavior. Yeah. Emotions always screw everything up. Uh-huh. The androids aren't as different from us as we thought. <laughs> you ever dealt with deviants before? Yes. Oh, yeah. I forgot about Daniel. Back. A deviant was threatening to jump off the roof with the little girl. I managed to save her. So I guess you've done all your homework, right? Know everything there is to know about me? No. True for a lot. True. I know you graduated top of your class. You made a name for yourself in several cases and became the youngest lieutenant in Detroit. That's our I boy. I also know you've received several disciplinary warnings in recent years, and you spend a lot of time in bars. <laughs> so what's your conclusion? Conclusion? Sincere, psychological, and cold. Sincere. I think working with an officer with personal issues is an added challenge. But adapting to human unpredictability is one of my features. He just winks! <laughs> I just got a report of a suspected deviant. It's a few blocks away. We should go have a look. Like even the detail where he's getting wet from the room. rain. I'll be in the car if you need me. I'm guessing a very father son vibe from uh, Hank and Connor. If if Hank can look past the part of Connor being a. a uh, Android, or if Connor went deviant, I would sit. I would have thought they're like dad and son. They've just got that feeling with them, you know. Hey, Connor, you run out of batteries or what? No, I'm sorry. I was making a report to Cyberlife. Uh. Just look at the LED. Well, do you plan on staying in the elevator? Yes. No, I'm coming. Just the way it goes. No. Question the suspect. Right. We saw how my interrogation. Oh, I'm sure not. Not much. Just that a neighbor reported that he heard strange noises coming from this floor. Nobody's supposed to be living here, but the neighbor said he saw a man hiding an LED under his cap. Oh, Christ. If we have to investigate every time somebody hears a strange noise, we're going to need more cops. Is this bird feathers? Oh, pigeons. Hey, were you really making a report back there in the elevator? Yes. Just by closing your eyes? Indeed. Correct. Shit. <laughs> Wish I could do that. <laughs> well, I can do them for you. Right. Can we talk to Hank? No. Okay. Right. Let's knock on this door. Hmm. Knock again. Anybody home? Open up, Detroit police! Stay behind me. Got it. Oh, he's getting protective over the over Connor. That's so cute! Oh, why is music getting intense? Okay, right, so we're staying behind Hank. He is going to protect us because he is our boy! Hank, are you gonna go through the door? Okay, we'll go in this way. Oh! What the fuck is this? 
Good question, uh, Hank. I'd love to know. Jesus, this place stinks. Oh my lord, that is a lot of. Well, business. looks like we came for nothing. We're saying any blue blood. Our man's gone. All right, let's open up the fridge. Is there anything in the fridge? Suspect doesn't eat. Excuse me, Hank. I am investigating. Suspect cares for wild animals. Bird feed. Okay. Well, that explains why he's got so many pigeons in here. These birds, they're, they're hungry. Uh, let's have a look. Oh. Military jacket, secondhand initials RT. RT. Probably initials. He put his initials in his jacket? That's something your mom does when you're in first grade. Shh. Fake ID, Rupert Travis. The driver's license is fake. Cool. At least we didn't come for nothing. Hank, I'm trying to do some investigating. Why are you just standing there, mon? Sorry, I'm in a really hyper mood today. I got the house to myself, so this is great. Right, uh, there is something apparently to. Oh, okay, right. Uh, ur urban farm poster. Uh, oh, there we go. Poster corner, 100% recycled paper, recently moved. Okay. Hmm. Seems to be a book or something. Ah! It's just, it's just random squiggles, though. Found something? I don't know. It looks like a notebook, but it's indecipherable. Ugh. I don't want to sample it, but I feel like we should. Blue blood. Okay, yeah, so... Oh, it's LED. LED bio component. It's got deactivated. It's LED is in the sink. Not surprised it was an android. No human could live with all these fucking pigeons. And there's RA9 references again. Any idea what it means? RA9. Written 2,471 times. Jesus. It's the same sign Ortiz's android wrote on the shower wall. Why are they obsessed with this sign? Looks like mazes or something. Good point. Obsessive compulsive writing. What are we looking? Oh, we're looking here. Okay. Uh, wooden stool recently disturbed. Uh, oh, there we go. Opened marker pen. Still wet. Used recently. Okay, let's see. Suspect was here recently. Suspect ran to the living room. Okay. Also, I'm apologizing in advance. Ava's being very loud today. She Real books. Oh. I thought I was the last guy in Detroit to keep some. Mm -hmm. Electronic books, you can't smell the paper. See the pages turning yellow. You have no idea what I'm talking about, do you? No. <laughs> right, let's have a look. Finger marks recent traces of it. Um, feces, but there's no fingerprint. Okay. Uh, skid mark, it was recent. And metal hook, recently broken. Okay. Bro, what the heck does this mean then? Oh, uh, okay, so it was a cage. 
Suspect ran toward entrance. Can I go in that room? No. Well, it says he ran to the entrance, so maybe it's something in here? Uh, ah, another magazine. Good thing we came back in here anyway. Oh, give me a minute. I'm just gonna let Ava out because she's being really loud and it's really irritating me. Red ice epidemic. <laughs> okay. Let's have a look. Uh, so, I cannot, there's some words here I cannot read, but the latest narcotic crisis to ravage Detroit. The synthetic stimulant, informally known as Red Ice, has become the drug of choice for Detroit's ungrowing underclass. Analysts have pointed to Detroit's status as the epicenter of Android production, suggesting the drug flourishes in the dissatisfaction caused by androids taking human jobs. Psychologist Dr. Julian Carter has drawn the same link with androids as CyberLife's androids spread across the country and they will bring red ice with them. Poor men and women desperate to make me uh, ends me are vulnerable to become users or even dealers. That's like a problem we're dealing with now, isn't it? Not only is the popularity of this drug spreading rapidly, but its chemical composition is uniquely dangerous. Ferium, the main ingredient in android quote-unquote blue blood, is high is among the active agents in red eyes and has a highly destabilizing effect on hormone production the national association for narcotic prevention nanp say the problem is going to get worse the purity of ingredients is very low and deteriorating america's biggest narcotic industry is only is only likely to grow red eyes dealers are reported to have an unofficial motto where the bl blood bleh, where the blood is blue, the ice is red, and the money is green. Jesus. And green earth has to tipping point earth's environment officially beyond repair. Oh god. Again, this is stuff we're dealing with now. Environmentalists have long warned us about a tipping point, the moment at which global warming reaches a new level that is irreversible. Science is now saying we've officially passed it. Global rainforests have been reduced by 79% since 2000 and coastal corals by 58%. Polar ice has, start, has melted to such an extent that rising sea levels have, have many states struggling to keep the water out of their coastal towns. With these cooling factors so diminished, there is now too much carbon in the atmosphere for the environment to ever absorb. Jason Rees, head of the Global Environment Agency, said the study confirms that what many of us have suspected for a long time, but the current, but the real calamity is the linked death decline of natural resources from energies to minerals, which are almost exhausted and can never be replaced. Many environmentalists have criticized Reese's comments as discouraging people from taking action, but Reese has defied these criticisms. It's important people accept the reality of the situation. The planet will keep getting hotter now. The only question is how fast? That is scarily, man. And you There's can now see her in the background. Here. There. Let's get out of this shithole before I die of an asthma attack. I want to stay a second. Just another couple of minutes, Lieutenant. Uh, all right, you got two minutes. Then I'm out of here. Thank you. What the fuck. It's got to be something I'm missing. Find calls of loud noise. What about the window? No? There's got to be something I am missing here. Because it said the suspect went to... Oh. Right, look at that. More pigeons. Okay, that was empty. All right, okay, so let's reanalyze this a minute because I'm curious. It said it ran to reconstruct. There we go. Suspect heard us enter. 
suspect is still here. This one, I'm glad I'm sta I stayed. Oh God! God damn fucking pigeons! What are you waiting for? Chase it! Go, 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 go. Oh no, I never chase. Oh, I don't like this. No, 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 no! Jump! Oh God! Okay, we're doing a high chase now. I don't like this. I don't like this. I'm not gonna lie, this music is epic though. Fast but risky, easy to slow. Safer detour. Do the safer detour. Ah! Oh, I hope I haven't missed him. Oh, no, there he is. Jeez, look at that thing go. Whee! Oh, okay. Right, right, right. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, we're running through a field of androids. I don't even know where we're going. I'm just hoping that this is the right way. Oh no, why do we keep doing this? Why? Why? Oh! I nearly locked him. Ah! I nearly knocked my tea, that's why I hesitated. Holy shit! <laughs> Come on, Ant, keep up, mate! <laughs> I am messing this up so much! Oh my god. Every time I have to press the W, because that's what it that's what the move That's what the move forward button is, I think. Space there. Go, 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 Jump! Okay, 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 okay. Get out of my way! Look out! That way. Oh, that way. I thought these androids getting in the bloody way, man! Okay, go that way. Okay. Oh, no. I don't know where he is. There's corn foils everywhere. <gasps> Hanky <Whoa>. Billy! <gasps> no, 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 no! Okay, uh, Chase Steven or 89. No, we're getting Hank! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! We had it! Fuck! It's alright, it's Hank. my fault. Don't worry. I should have been faster. Yeah. You'd have caught it if it weren't for me. Shushed. That's alright. We know what it looks like. We'll find it. Oh, God. Hey, Connor. Nothing. <laughs> like, I know his chance of survival was 89%, but I've already had warning from people that this game can cut you very quickly. So I'm like, no, we're getting Hank. <laughs> that was too intense. And I'm so glad I decided to stay on that, like... I was debating just leaving, but I was like, nah, if I leave now, something's going to go wrong. So, I'm glad I worked it out. Okay, we're back on Marcus. I hope it's not as jumpy, by the way, with the frames now. Who are you? Fugitives. Just like you. My name is Josh. I'm Simon. North. Uh, Android Cherico. How many are you? There are 19 of us still in working order. 19 only. The rest were damaged escaping their masters. Many tried to reach Jericho. If you succeed, humans have little pity for our kind. Free? And hiding just to stay alive, that's freedom to you? Humans right. hate us. Hiding is the only way we can survive. There is no safe place for those like us. If humans knew we were here, they'd kill us. Uh, Jericho? This is Jericho? It's a refuge for those who don't want to be slaves anymore. 
Oh, I understand some of, how you feel. Some of you said you want to see my bird. Here, here you go. You ever did. Saber. Lost. I came to Jericho looking for hope. Looks like I'm not gonna find any here. Got that, Marcus? Don't be a savage. You're lost. Just like the rest of us. We didn't ask for this. All we can do now is deal with it. I know, honey. You're safe here. You can stay with us as long as you want. Aww. Okay. Go and see Lucy. She might be able to help you. Lucy? Right, do you... Do you mind not attacking my necklace? Settle in, find Lucy, and explore Jericho. Okay. Can we talk to people? I want to interact with other human beings. Well, we're androids, but close enough. Uh, we're just made with nuts and bolts and blue blood instead of... Oh, hello. Are you Lucy? Oh my god. Look at her. Look at the... She's got... She hasn't got Sit a head. Down. She hasn't got a head. Like, she has a head, but... Most of it's missing. Sit down. We having a psychic reading? Show me. Oh. I'll stop the bleeding. Not even flinching or anything. Humans, now nah, we 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 be we, we be pussies. We would be screaming at that. Drink this. Oh, is that blue blood? Yeah, it is. That's cool, man. Shh. I feel bad for these guys. Like, they're just trying to survive, dude. Give me your hand. Okay, you want my hand? Here's my hand. Shh. This character is interesting to me. Even though ours are a little bit creepy. You had it all. And you lost it all. Yeah, we did. He lost You've Carl. seen hell and now hell lives in you. Your heart is troubled. A part of shadow and a part of light. Which will prevail? Your choices will shape our destiny. So when they're saying shadow and light, I'm assuming that's going to mean, like, my approach to this, I want to kind of say. Like, when I say approach, like, I feel like, um, obviously they're not going to have androids hiding here forever, you know? Like, they're going to do something. Obviously, we'll have to see how the story progresses, but... This North character looks interesting. How here. long have you been here? Four weeks, three days, eleven hours. Damn. When I escaped, there was nowhere else to go. Jericho seemed as good a place as any. I mean, at least uh, I guess you're with other people. Wounded? A lot of these guys in pretty bad shape. That's how the humans treat those who disobey. They despise us. Not all humans we'll are like that. What we are. Jericho? Who found this place? Nobody knows anymore. Whoever he was, his body's probably laying somewhere on this boat. God, that's depressing. If you came here for comfort, you came to the wrong place. Don't be a bitch, man. I'm just trying to talk to you. 
Okay, let's speak to that. Let's uh, let's speak to that Josh guy. He seems a bit more. He seems a bit more positive about this thing. Like, I don't mean positive, but I mean he seems more better company to be around. This Simon guy as well. I think this is this Simon here. Maybe the other guy, Simon, seems seems quite nice as well. Oh God, forgot there was Android Kids. That's scary to think. I know, isn't it? They threw him out, and they didn't want him anymore. Oh my god. He was living on the streets before we brought him here. Jesus. They'll all shut down if we don't find a way to help them. To help them, we need blue blood and bio components. We salvage what we can from those who shut down. But there's never enough. So, how do they survive? They don't? They won't. Yeah. We're slowly dying out. Yeah, it's gotta be something we can do, because this is this is not right. Can I speak to you? Because I think you're Simon, maybe. Oh my god. Humans are afraid of dying too. Do you know what happens after death? No. No, I don't. Well, I'm about to find out. What's your name? Marcus. I was glad to meet you, Marcus. can't be easy to, like see just seeing your own kind just dying out and then having to like salvage them to keep others alive like I know that's kind of the same with humans as like organ donation and stuff like that but could these people could potentially be brought back right like with humans there is a chance you can be brought back in certain situations but the majority of the time when you pass away Usually there's not really a chance of you coming back. I know that sounds really horrible. But, like, there's not really a lot of occasions, especially because I'm very uh, new to all this. But there's very rarely a time where, you know, you'll actually come back without, like, the help of, like, doctors and stuff like that. Well, with these guys, if they had blue blood and bio components, they could potentially be resurrected like again someone correct me in the comments if that's not the case but i'm just thinking couldn't that be a certain situation there we go i keep forgetting i've got this scan thingy all right let's check over here first since we're closest to it crate already emptied oh god So I believe we're house and docks, West Torrance Avenue, Detroit, Min Michigan. Calculate and route. Propose a plan to Simon. I was right on that being Simon. Kind of I know where we can find spare parts. Cyberlife warehouses in Detroit Harbor. They have everything we need. The docks are guarded. We can't just walk in there and take what we want. Humans will never let us. Which is why we won't ask permission. We don't have any weapons. And even if we did, none of us knows how to fight. We can steal what we need without fighting. We'll just get ourselves killed. Maybe. But it's better than waiting here to be shut down. I'm with you. Maybe it's worth a try. Come on, Josh. Hey. It's why well, as Marcus just said, it's better than just waiting to be shut down. Marcus hitched a, hatched a plan. There we go. Uh, I've got it back on working in online mode now, so you guys can 
see everything properly, which is nice. Right. <gasps> We've got Cara and Alice. Yes! Alice trusts us. We're all good. You're good. Are you good? We're gonna be okay. Aww. We'll get some help here. Soon as we'll all be just a bad memory. Oh god, I don't trust this already. This is like the beginning of like all horror movies. This is the place. I don't trust this. It's just so wholesome. Like, look, you've just got two. You've just got a mum and a daughter just walking up, holding hands. Don't want to keep spam ringing. Forever wait. Ring again. Why does my phone keep going off? Oh, you look crazy. Luck. Luck. Who's asking? I was told you could help us. I don't know who told you that. You came to the wrong place. I'm sorry. Wait. We really need your help. Trust him. Come on, Alice. If this guy's dodgy, we're running out of here like ASAP. Our way. Come on in. Don't be shy. I'm not shy. I'm scared of you, mate. Luther, would you be so kind as to take these ladies' coats? Luther. Oh my God. Oh, don't be afraid of our big friend here. He's a chonky Luther boy. Just another android that I helped. He keeps me company in this big empty old house. How can you afford this house on your own, man? I'm oh, gonna go itch. Please make yourselves at home. How did you hear about me? An android. On the street, he said you could help us. He's got blue blood on his hands. I don't trust I that. See. Deviant, huh? He didn't look deviant. What about her? Oh, you mean us, yes. She's human. And you want to find a safe place. Uh -huh. Somewhere you can start a new life. Yes, that'd be amazing. I hear Canada is very lovely at this time of year. And they have no androids over there. Beautiful That's brilliant. landscapes, open spaces, clean air, and no android laws. Because there's none there. Great place for a fresh start. Yes, that's exactly what we need. That's exactly what we want. Wait. Of course. Stop going for my necklace, you. Well, I can help you. Oh, hallelujah. But first, we have to get rid of your tracker. Tracker? Yeah. All androids are fitted with a tracking device to locate them at all times. Then why is there so many police reports I'll about yours, missing? And then you'll both be safe. Come on. Hold on. Follow me. Hold on, hold on a minute. So if there is a tracker in all D uh, the in all one can um, in the androids, no. why no is there so many me. police reports about missing androids? Like the files like would way. be there, but they're, they've been gone the for like over a week. Oh, and he's taken us to the basement. This is fishy. I don't trust this man. Oh my God. And Luther behind us is a big chunky boy. Remind me not to get on his bedside. I don't. I don't like this place and that man. I know, Alice. Let's go. I have a bad feeling. Um, reassure. It'll be okay, Alice. He's going to remove my tracker, and then we can start over again in Canada. You want that too, right? 
Come on. Please excuse the mess. I need it somewhere discreet for my machines. Removing trackers is illegal, so I opted for discretion over comfort. I hope the little one isn't too scared. No. No, she'll be all right. That's good. Come on, Alice. This way, please. Why did that unlock something? Alice! My paranoia is going flooded. Oh, my paranoia is going up for the roof, man. I don't trust this. That was confusing as heck. If you could just stand over there. Uh... I should warn you, this could be quite unpleasant. <laughs> Oh, now we're in first person view. I don't like this. You know what's strange? What? For some unknown reason, the trackers seem to stop working in Deviance. Then why? That's why it's so hard to find them. <laughs> so, actually, there's no reason to remove your tracker. What? But you said that. Yeah, the... I knew it. People believe what they want. You deviants are so naive. They all come to me expecting me to help them. And I just reset them, yeah. sell them on. Or I keep them for my little experiments. No! No! I don't want to be reset! Let me go! Ah! Oh, I forgot about the child. Um, lock it up. I'll deal with it. Look, it. Alice! Alice, no! Wow. A deviant that wants to be a mother. That's that's so sweet. Then let me go, you I'm ass. So deluded. I think it's time we put you out of your misery. No, come on, get off, get off, get off. What the? <gasps> no, no. Shit. Kick him in the face. Oh, wait, we can't kick him in the face. That's what you get for having a dream. At least I actually have a dream, unlike you, you asshole. Way. Tears and disillusionment. There's got to be something I can do. Believe me, you're better off being erased and feeling nothing. No more pain. Maybe I should kill you and end my fucking misery. No Hope's dashed. Nope. I almost envy you. Okay. Cara! Oh no. <laughs> oh, poor little. Memory Alice. corruption detected. No. Oh, looks like mommy doesn't remember you at all, huh? No. Looks like mommy's completely forgotten you. Cara, what happened to you? <laughs> oh, all right, that's enough. Come on. <laughs> Did you get me? You bit me. Good. You deserved it. I'm gonna teach you some manners, you little bitch. Meet me in the living room. <sighs> right. We need to get out of this. Find a way to escape. Okay, okay, okay. Right. Um, right, we can push that. Oh, we can't. Bollocks. Can we push this? I don't know what what everything what we what we can do. We find a way to escape. Oh, balls! I don't know what else we can do. Cute. Cause a short circuit. How do we do that? Oh. Balls, we're running out of time. 
How do I cause a, a short circuit? Cut, no, I can't use the explosive because otherwise we'll kill ourselves. Oh, shit. Um. Oh. Shit! <laughs> Meet Luther in the living room. Oh, fuck this, man. This Salco guy, man. Literally, our objective is to serve him. Help us. Oh, that's creepy. I don't know what we just let out, but. He erased her memory. No. This can't be happening. Oh my god. Humans to play with this. Creating monsters for his amusement. But who's the real monster? Look what he did to us. You must remember who you are. Otherwise, the little one will die. God. I know, honey. I know it's scary. You can jump on Mom's shoulder if you need to. Oh, my God, man. Can't believe that. We, the only option we had was a short circuit. We only had, like, two options. So... What was I supposed to do in that situation? And that bloody loofer apparently got helped by this guy. And now he's just, ugh, makes me so mad, man. Yeah, I remember you chopping your hair. Oh, why can Alice like Jake and taking her jacket off or something? Master's dinner is ready. Take it up to him. Fuck off, you do it yourself. Fuck's sake. So this guy, he spreads around this information that he helps deviants, and then he erases their memory and then sells them for money. What an asshole, man. Now I need to find where this... Oh, we've got to bring in the food to him. Oh, there he is. Uh, just set it down on the table over there. I'll do it just so I can get away from your ugly ass face. Now get rid of that carcass. Uh, take it next door. It's took off out of work. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking accountant! Did you hear what I said? Yes, Lanko. Oh, dude, this is so uncomfortable. Luther! Luther! Yes, Lanko. I should be done here in ten minutes or so. I'll have a look at the little one, see what I can do with it. Understood, Slako. How am I I'll bring you the little one in ten minutes. I got... I bring the carcass next up. I literally have ten minutes. Oh, fuck me. I don't have the bloody mental stability for this game, man. <gasps> this one's creeping! Put that, put that there. Who is the little girl? Yep. Yeah. Alright, right. Observe it, RA9. Try to remember that. 
Yep. Yep, we have Ralph right in constant RA9. Yep, that's fine. And now we need to find we need to find Alice. Matt ne Oh my name's Kara. That's what she's trying to remember. Right, okay. Right, we know who the little girl is. Her name is Alice. She is a cute, adorable girl, and we are going to find her right now. And the question is, where the heck is she gonna be? I would imagine they put her in the furthest room away from what's going on, right? Because goddamn, this is a very big mansion. Is it me? Yeah. Corridor. Okay, that's okay, so both of those doors link to the same one. What's this one here? <gasps> you gonna be okay? We'll get some help here. My name is Kara. All right, we gotta be sneaky beaky like. Let's open this door. Alice. Oh, Car, you remember me? Yeah, of course I do, I sweetie. I forget you. Oh, I'm so sorry. You were right. We never should have come here. Oh, bless. We gotta get out we here. We have to go. Follow me and don't make any noise, okay? How much time do we have left? <gasps> oh my god, I thought someone was opening the door. Oh no. I know, honey, it's stressful. Luther! Yes, Lako. I'm finished here. Nope. Go fetch the <sighs> Right away, Zach. Hide. Under the. Under the table? Not go! What? The little one is gone! Well, I can't have just disappeared. It's gotta be here somewhere. What are you waiting for? Go look! My specialty is hiding. In the fire, shut up. Luther, what the fuck are you doing? Come here. Coming. <gasps> fuck it out. They're searching the house. We've got to get out before they find us. Let's do it. We need to hurry. They'll be here soon. There's smoke everywhere. Luther! There's a fucking fire! Luther! W and it doesn't work. 
work, man. Go, 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 go. Run, 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 run. Alice! No. Go, Alice. No, I won't leave. Go. go. Run as fast as you can. I warned you. Dreams always end in tears. You should have listened to me. <gasps> what are you doing? Get out of my way. No. Not this time. I said get out of my way or I'll shoot right through you. Oh! Fucking hell. How dare you. How dare you. Oh. What are you doing? Who let you out? Me? Get away from me! Get away from yeah, me! Yeah, hide eyes his eyes from this. Obey me! I'm your master! I'm your master! Ah! I know, honey. Scary stuff. I was gonna shoot us for a minute, Dad. I didn't want to hurt you. He programmed me to obey him. When I saw the little one risk her life to save you, it was like opening my eyes for the first time. So it became the oh. I, I know you have no reason to trust me after what I did, but I know someone help you across the border. I could take you there. I could protect you. You and the little one. All right. Come join the family. I trust you. Come join us, Lufel. You can be the new dad. Dude. <laughs> Lufer joins Cara and Alice. God, look at how many ways that could have gone as well. My lordy lord. Right, we're going to do one more and then we're going to leave it for this episode. As you can see by the state of my bedroom, I'm still in the middle of packing and it's an absolute mess. It's pissing it down with rain and a pretty garden. Connor's holding an umbrella, so I'm assuming we're going to need to speak to that Amanda. Like, why do I keep thinking her name's Rebecca? I don't know. I know, honey. Why does mommy keep thinking it's Rebecca? You gotta touch the blue thingy. Hmm. It's got to mean something. They wouldn't put it in the game if it didn't mean something, right? I'm trying to work out what this bird is doing. Like, look. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, well... The boat's not here. It's the bonsai tree. Where the heck is Amanda? Should we just start calling Amanda Rebecca? Just for the laughs. Yeah? Hello, Amanda. Connor, I've been expecting you. We're trusting for her at the moment. Do you mind a little walk? I know, so I had my jab today, so my arm is gone. So I apologise for that as well. So my movements might be a bit slow. That deviant seemed to be an intriguing case. Yeah. Pity you didn't manage to capture it. Deviants are completely irrational, which makes it difficult to anticipate their behaviour. But 
but I should have been more effective. Not Connor, you did nothing wrong, mate. Did you mate. manage to learn anything? Oh, we've got a mess. Damn it! Right, so we've got the signs on the, the wall. Walls of the apartment were covered with drawings of labyrinths and other symbols. Like the other deviants, it seemed obsessed with RA9. What else? Diary. I found its diary, but it was encrypted. It may take weeks to decipher. Um, you came very close to capturing that deep. I know, because I'm efficient as heck. How is your relationship with the lieutenant developing? He's my friend! Save him, Hank. He seemed grateful that I saved his life on the roof. He didn't say anything, but he expressed it in his own way. That's our Hanky. We don't have much time. Deviancy continues to spread. It's only a matter of time before the media finds out about it. They're already, they already we need should to stop this. Whatever it takes. I will solve this investigation, Amanda. I won't disappoint you. A new case just came in. Find Anderson and investigate it. Actually, you have reached your destination. Thank you for traveling with Detroit Taxi. We look forward to seeing you again soon. Okay, you guys are going to hate me for this, but I am going to end the episode here only because I'm a bit paranoid about the recording being jumpy. I've not had any error messages come through on my Streamlabs while I've been recording. Um, but I don't want to push my luck and also the fact that I actually need to go and have a shower because I'm feeling groggy as heck. I need to sort you out as well because you keep kicking off wanting food. And also the fact as well that I'm starting to get a little bit of a headache, probably a side effect from the jab. So I am really sorry this episode is quite short but I will get episode 5, Is it 5? Yeah, 5 out for you later on next week so I'm predicting maybe monday hopefully but anyway thank you guys for watching let me know in the comments what your favorite character is and other things like that and if i've missed anything shushed and i will speak to you guys in the next video bye